right, we decided not to do a video Thursday. We decided to stay home and just work from home. So today we're doing a video of everything that sold Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's about 8 o'clock Sunday night, so we should be almost done for the day. So we have about 30, over 30 orders right now to put out, so let's get to it. Here's what we sold. All right, our I never did put these in order. I was going to. I just never did. Let me get back to you on this. All right, we found it. Brett Aldridge Christmas CD, brand new sealed. I think we paid a dollar forty nine for this. We ended up getting nine ninety nine for it. We bought it at a thrift store. Next one's a Captain and Tennille. Here's another one we ended up picking up at a uh, thrift store. We bought a whole bunch of new ones that day for $1.49 a piece. And we sold this one for $19.99. Okay, we sold a, a Leonard Skinner Swamp Music shirt. I put my concert tees in it. Those are sports. Those are just vintage tees. Those are sports. That should probably be NASCAR. Hmm. in one of these things. And should be in here. It sucks as we end up having, we have a lot, a lot of linen Skinner shirts. Leave it this one here. Yeah. Swamp music, Leonard Skinner. And we sold that for $18.88. We bought it for $1.99 at a. All right, we got a steel book. Dracula. Right there. Brand new, never been opened. We ended up buying this at Big Lots for five bucks. We was going to put it in a personal collection, but once the uh, shutdown went, I had to find some stuff in my personal collection to list. So we sold it for $22.99, so we ended up making money on it. But I want to make sure I list 10 items every day. So I've been trying to find stuff to put on. Big Lebowski. Digi book. There we go. We paid $2.50 for this at a flea market. And we got it, sold it for $8.49. So we didn't make a lot of money. Figured that one would be worth more money than it was. But it wasn't. Blu ray Stars Born. I just listed this like two days ago. Yep. We just bought this at a pawn shop the other day. We paid 
a dollar fifty for it. We sold this for nine ninety nine. Again, not a whole lot of money, but every little bit counts. Magnificent Seven. Remember, I pulled this one out. Uh, hopefully, we put it back. <laughs> there it is. We pulled this one out the other day, and it was actually the Blu-ray we sold. But hey, we sold this one today. Sold it for ten ninety-nine. It's brand new. We bought it at a pawn shop for a dollar. Kurt Angle. Where'd the Kurt Angle go? I know it was right here forever. Hey, there it is. Let's grab that. All right, this is a brand new Kurt Angle. We picked it up at a pawn shop for two bucks and we sold it for, let me check, I put this back, $21.99. So that was pretty good money. Interview with a Vampire, Blu-ray. Told you guys about that uh, Dollar General glitch where all the DVD or Blu rays ended up being a dollar and a quarter, and that's where this came from. So we have a dollar and a quarter in that brand new Blu ray interview with the vampire. We sold it for $11.99. Ghost House. Ghost House, there we go. It's used, still has the slip cover. We bought this at a pawn shop the other day for 75 cents. We sold it for $12.34. JBC Camcorder. This was actually given to us the other day. And we sold it for $58. The person that gave it to me said it was tested and everything, so just didn't have a charger with it. But we sold that for 58 bucks. We had nothing in it. Those are my favorite sales. Tour of Duty set. We got $27.77 for it. Where did it get? There it is. Right there. Oops, if I remember to pick that rifleman back up. If not, I won't be able to find it. All right, Tour of Duty, the complete series. Brand new, $27.99. We picked that up at Pawn Shop for two bucks. All right, we sold a Star Wars t-shirt. Like I said, I'm getting so many of these. Ah, here we go. That didn't take long at all. It's a Death Star, Star Wars t-shirt. These all over prints from, the, uh, I think this was from like the, either the 90s or early 2000s. I ended up getting this for, selling this for $69.99. I paid $1.99 for it. So that was a really good flip. Like I was saying before, these t-shirts, you know, when you only have a few, they're not too difficult, but you know, I try to categorize them and I have like two or three bins that are just kind of like vintage hodgepodge, kind of like those. So I'm going to have to define them even better. Like, you know, put all the movie ones together or all that because it's just getting harder to, to figure out where they are. I mean, that didn't take too long, but uh, it's still just a pain. We sold a battleground which is up here underneath this DJ equipment. I had so many offers on this DJ equipment. I just turned down an offer a couple minutes ago for like 200 and some dollars, but we bought that DJ 
thing for like 40 bucks. Here's that battleground. Oh. It says it has 80 pieces, but I counted the pieces. There's more like 120 or something. So there was stuff added to it since somebody bought this starter set. Probably ended up getting $156 for this shipped. Knight of Cups. This actually came from the Dollar Tree and we sold it for $7. It's brand new. And like I said, don't be afraid to source it to Dollar Tree and the Dollar General and stuff because you, you really can make money from these places. I mean, it, that's not a great example, but still, I made I made a dollar or so. Wolverine 3D. We just listed that a couple days ago. I said some of these Blu-rays have been selling really fast. There we go. So the Wolverine 3D. It also comes with Blu-ray and DVD. And it sold for $10.99. We bought it at the pawn shop the other day for $1.50. Wild Wild West, we got $24.99 for those three sets right there. We, end up, we have $6 in all this. I think we paid $2 a piece for those at the, uh, at the pawn shop. I really like to source at pawn shops. I don't know if you guys do pawn shops, but I, I do really well at pawn shops. Got this uh, set of Kong three movies. It's got like Mighty Mighty Joe Young, Son of Kong, and King Kong in it. Sold this for $15.99. It's like new condition. Bought that at a flea market for $2. Bet you thought I was going to say pawn shop, didn't you? Okay, we got a Misery Blu-ray. Which cover was it? We had two different covers. It was this one. It's brand new. It has the Blu-ray and DVD. King, Stephen King's Misery. And we sold it for $7.99. We paid $1.50 for it at the pawn shop. Tommy Steelbook. Steelbooks are down here, I believe. <clears throat> Scarface Deliverance. There we go. There's Tommy. Blu-ray Steelbook. Sold it for $13.99. We paid $2.54 at a flea market. Not a lot of money, but like I said, you add it all up, you start making money. Valley for Xbox. We sold that game for $17.79. We paid $5 for it at the pawn shop. Cold City CD. Here it is. It's used. We paid 50 cents for it at a flea market and we sold it for $9.99. All right, Dance Co. That says shoes, so maybe they're here. I think I've listed a few Dance Co's. If you guys don't know about Dance Co's, they're like nurses' shoes. Uh, they sell really well. They do really well with dance goes. I think these are it. Does that say? 39? A guy came up to me at the flea market and he knew that I do eBay. And he said he just picked these up at the uh, thrift store. And he knew they were money. So I told him, I said, well, I don't really mess with the dance goes and stuff. But I would give him what he paid for him, which was five bucks. And he ended up taking five bucks and 
I think it was something else I had for a dollar at my store. So basically I have about two dollars in this because I gave them basically in trade. So uh, sold for forty-one fifty-five with shipping. Green beret, brand new, sealed. We paid a dollar for it at a pawn shop. Got it for nine ninety or sold it for nine ninety-nine. Catherine Hepburn. Is that in here? ABCFG. Is this it? It is. This is actually uh, used. And we sold this for $15.99. We bought it for a dollar at the pawn shop. Uh, the Dreamers. You see the EFG. Here we go. There's the Dreamers. Still sealed. We bought that at the Dollar Tree. And we sold it for $9.99. Pacific. Set. We sold for $16.99. Wow, these, uh, these sets are really getting low. Remember how stacked up those things used to be? Like I said, uh, we've sold a lot of this stuff. Anyway, here's the uh, Pacific Mini Series. Sold it for $16.99. We paid $2 for it at the pawn shop. Supernatural 13. Bought this at a flea market for two dollars, and we sold it for fourteen ninety nine. We sold a Browns champion jersey. This is one of those other Steve Youngs I was talking about. There we go. Last one I looked at, Eric Metcalf, champion jersey. We actually bought this at a uh, thrift store in Athens, Ohio. I remember it vividly because I've been going to that store for a couple years now, and uh, they've never had a football jersey there, ever. So I finally told the lady, I said, hey, I finally found a football jersey. And it was on a $2 rack. And she said, oh, that was put out by mistake because we're supposed to send all those to the home office. That's the only reason you found it. So they let me buy it. But I paid $2 and I got $42 for it. So like I said, they slip up sometimes. Good thing. Deliverance Digibook, we sold for $17. I told you guys this was going to be a long one. Used Digibook 
We paid two fifty four at a flea market, sold it for seventeen bucks. Uh Y Tittle mini helmet that's gonna be right here. I always store it upside down just so the uh Autograph doesn't fade on it. There was a guy that had a, a local sports card shop here in town, and they used to bring in a lot of autograph guests. And uh, one of the employees that worked there wanted to get rid of his collection, and we ended up buying, and it must have been like, I don't know, 15 or 20 different autograph pieces that were like helmets and footballs and baseballs. Uh, we've sold all of it now. That's about the only thing I had left, so that's why I sold it cheap, just to get rid of it. We sold that for $37.99 with shipping. In his steps. Let's see the beginning. In his steps. Here we go. What would Jesus do? Still sealed. We bought this at the Dollar Tree. And we sold it for $11.99. I'm telling you, those Dollar Tree DVDs, you can make money on find the right ones all right we sold a i call it's more like a harley ripoff kind of jesus shirt it's uh it was born to die instead of born to ride i do really well with the uh like the jesus parody shirts there we go that was easy but that's what it looks like he's on the cross it says born to ride or born to die we paid $1.99 for this, and we sold it for $49.99. Sold this Theo Rossi for $14.99. I paid $2.99 for it from one of my trusted autograph dealers. I sold it for $14.99. That's not a bad flip. He's one of my favorite actors. I always liked him in Sons of Anarchy, and I also liked him in Luke Cage. All right, we got done packing him up, and... We're supposed to have 35 orders and we only had 34 so so luckily i went back and counted them and we found out we were missing a hat that we sold uh, the hats are up here it was a three stripe louisville hat looks like it's that one right there let's pull down and find out these hats are heavy so i couldn't do it one-handed all right Hopefully it's this. Oops. This is a Louisville three stripe. If you can ever find these trucker hats and they have the three stripes on them, they're really valuable. Uh, I've had this on eBay for like $80, $90 for several months, maybe a year. And I finally took a best offer for $45. I tried to get the best I could get out of it, but hey, I paid $3 for it. So I'll take the 45 bucks. We sold a Homies 1947 car. I was at my store at Peddler's Junction when I had one in Lancaster. And uh, somebody had these two Homies cars. And they had them for like 30 bucks a piece. And I had to the lady call and offer them 20 bucks a piece and I bought them both and he sold them to me so I ended up having $20 in this and I got 83 I think it was 83.50 with shipping I said homey stuff is pretty uh, popular to pick up that's everything we sold Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. Like I said, we sold over 30 items, probably for a thou over $1,000, I would say. I'm have to, I haven't added it up yet. But it was at least 880 last time I checked, and then I sold a few things after that. So have a good one, guys. Check out all the other videos. We have a bunch of what's sold and things to look out for. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, to comment, and I'll answer any questions. Have a good one. We were just talking about this earlier. I just got an offer from a guy in Puerto Rico for $300 for this. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it or not. I don't know. We'll think about it.
hey folks, I'm WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan, reminding you to check out the movie The Axe Man of Henderson County. I tell you, the mayor does a great job. Tough guy. Hello.